Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our institutions. Safety officer interviews question and answer training videos. Thank you. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Today I will teach you what is HUZUP. Definition and explanation. What is HUZUP? Systematic technique to identify potential hazard in operating problems. A formal systematic rigorous examination to the process and engineering facets of a production facility. A qualitative technique based on guide words to help provoke thoughts about the way deviations from the intended operating conditions can lead to hazardous situations or operability problems. What is HAZOP definition? A hazard inoperability study HAZOP, is a structured and systematic examination of a complex planned or existing process or operation in order to identify and evaluate problems that may represent risks to personnel or equipment. What is HAZOP training? HAZOP is a well-known hazard analysis tool used for process safety management and HSE risk assessment of plants and facilities. What does HAZOP mean? Hazard inoperability study. How do you do a HAZOP study? Hazard inoperability study is a systematic way to identify possible hazards in a work process. In this approach, the process is broken down into steps, and every variation in work parameters is considered for each step to see what could go wrong. Why is HAZOP required? A hazard inoperability study HUZOP, is a structured and systematic examination of a complex planned or existing process or operation in order to identify and evaluate problems that may represent risks to personnel or equipment. What is HUZOP main concern? 1. Operability problems degrade plant performance, product quality, production rate, profit. 2. Considerable engineering insight is required. Engineers working independently could develop different result. When origin of HAZOP? 1. Initially prepared by Drive, Glali ICI at Wilton Inn and Associates of 1960s. 2. In 1977, Chemical Industries Association published the edited version. What are the preliminary HAZOP? 1. Process Flow Sheet, PFS or PFD. 2. Description of the process. What are the detailed HAZOP? 1. Piping and instrumentation diagram, P and ID. 2. Process calculations. 3. Process data sheets. 4. Instrument data sheets. 5. Interlock schedules. 6. Layout requirements. 7. Hazardous area classification. 8. Description of the process. What is HAZOP study? 1. Normal operation. 2. Foreseeable changes in operation, e.g. E. upgrading, reduced output, plant startup and shutdown. 3. Suitability of plant materials, equipment and instrumentation. 4. Provision for failure of plant services, e.g. E. steam, electricity, cooling water. 5. Provision for maintenance. What is the HAZOP study procedure? 1. Procedure in HAZOP study consists of examining the process and instrumentation, P and I, line diagram, process line by process line. 2. A list of guide words is used to generate deviations from normal operation corresponding to all conceivable possibilities. 3. Guide words covering every parameter relevant to the system under review, that is flow rate and quality, pressure, temperature, viscosity, components. What are the strengths of HUZOP? 1. HUZOP is a systematic, reasonably comprehensive and flexible. 2. It is suitable mainly for team use whereby it is possible to incorporate the general experience available. 3. It gives good identification of cause and excellent identification of critical deviations. 4. The use of keywords is effective and the whole group is able to participate. 5. HUZOP is an excellent well-proven method for studying large plant in a specific manner. 6. HUZOP identifies virtually all significant deviations on the plant. All major accidents should be identified but not necessarily their causes. What is the purpose of HUZOP? 1. 
it emphasizes upon the operating integrity of a system, thereby leading methodically to most potential and detectable deviations which could conceivably arise in the course of normal operating routine. 2. It is important to remember at all times that HUZOP is an identifying technique and not intended as a means of solving problems, nor is the method intended to be used solely as an undisciplined means of searching for hazardous scenarios. How and why HUZOP is used? 1. HUZOP identifies potential hazards, failures and operability problems. 2. Its use is recommended as a principal method by professional institutions and legislators on the basis of proven capabilities for over 40 years. 3. It is most effective as a team effort consists of plant and designers, operating personnel, control and instrumentation engineer etc. 4. It encourages creativity and design concept evaluation. 5. Its use results in fewer commissioning and operational problems and better informed personnel thus confirming overall cost-effectiveness improvement. 6. Necessary changes to a system for eliminating or reducing the probability of operating deviations are suggested by the analytical procedure. 7. HUZOP provides a necessary management tool and bonus in so far that it demonstrates to insurers and inspect or evidence of comprehensive thoroughness. 8. HUZOP reports are an integral part of plant and safety records and are also applicable to design changes and plant modifications, thereby containing accountability for equipment and its associated human interface throughout the operating lifetime. 9. HUZOP technique is now used by most major companies handling and processing hazardous material, especially those where engineering practice involves elevated operating parameters. What are the HUZOP effectiveness? 1. The accuracy of information, including P and IDs, available to the team, information should be complete and up-to-date. 2. The skills and insights of the team members. 3. How well the team is able to use the systematic method as an aid to identifying deviations. 4. The maintaining of a sense of proportion in assessing the seriousness of a hazard and the expenditure of resources in reducing its likelihood. 5. The competence of the chairperson in ensuring the study team rigorously follows sound procedures. What are the key elements of a HUZOP? 1. HUZOP team. 2. Full description of process. 3. Relevant GIDA words. 4. Conditions conducive to brainstorming. 5. Recording of meeting. 6. Follow-up plan. Is HUZOP qualitative or quantitative? The aim of FI is to be a semi-quantitative technique to assess risk using a risk matrix. On the other hand, the hazards and operability HUZOP analysis qualitative method developed to identify risks and operational problems through the effects of deviations from design conditions in industrial process plants. What are the objective of HUZOP? 1. For identifying cause and the consequences of perceived maloperations of equipment and associated operator interfaces in the context of the complete system. 2. It accommodates the status of recognized design standards and codes of practice, but rightly questions the relevance of these in specific circumstances where hazards may remain undetected. What is the best way to apply the results of a HAZOP study will depend on the nature of the system. 1. Forming a HAZOP team. 2. Identifying the elements of the system. 3. Considering possible variations in operating parameters. 4. Identifying any hazards or failure points. What is form a HUZOP team? To perform a HUZOP, a team of workers is formed, including people with a variety of expertise such as operations, maintenance, instrumentation, engineering slash process design, and other specialists as needed. These should not be newbies, but people with experience, knowledge, and an understanding of their part of the system. The key requirements are an understanding of the system, and a willingness to consider all reasonable variations at each point in the system. How to identify each element and its parameters? The HUZOP team will then create a plan for the complete work process, identifying the individual steps or elements. This typically involves using the piping and instrument diagrams, P and ID, or a plant model, as a guide for examining every section and component of a process. For each element, 
The team will identify the planned operating parameters of the system at that point, flow rate, pressure, temperature, vibration, and so on. How to consider the effects of variation? For each parameter, the team considers the effects of deviation from normal. For example, what would happen if the pressure at this valve was too high? What if the pressure was unexpectedly low? Would the rate of change in pressure, delta P, pose its own problems here? Don't forget to consider the ways that each element interacts with others over time. For example, what would happen if the valve was opened too early, or too late? Identify hazards and failure points. Where the result of a variation would be danger to workers or to the production process, you've found a potential problem. Document this concern, and estimate the impact of failure at that point. Then, determine the likelihood of that failure. Is there a realistic cause for the harmful variation? Evaluate the existing safeguards and protection systems, and evaluate their ability to handle the deviations that you've considered. What are the development in HAZOP? 1. Project Exploration Preliminary project assessment to identify inherent hazards of process chemicals, site suitability, and probable environmental impact. 2. Project Definition To identify and reduce significant hazards associated with items and areas, check conformity with relevant standards and codes of practices. 3. Design and Procurement to examine the pipe in detail for identification of deviations from design intent capable of causing operability problems or hazards. 4. During final stages of construction. To check that all recommended and accepted actions recorded in steps I, 2 and 3 implemented. 5. During plant commissioning to check that all relevant statutory requirements have been acknowledged and all installed safety systems are reliably operable. 6. During normal operation, sometime after startup especially if any modification been made. To check if changes in operation has not invalidated the HAZOP. Please give comment and suggestions. Thank you. Subscribe our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. Thank for visit our channel. See you next class. Thank you.